yeah. We are so back. I don't know why, but it's it's felt like like a month since I've filmed at the Griff Thursday. I I did it a, literally a week ago, but for whatever reason. But yeah, welcome back to the Griff Thursday. Today, we are doing an incredibly highly requested video. That's right. We're doing Thaw Thursday, baby. It's time. So many of you have been requesting Thaw Thursday, or maybe it's only a few of you, but like pretty often. <laughs> Honestly, I, I I always wanted to do it. Um, it's just not a style that I've really dabbled in in many years. Back when I was in high school in like 2012, 2013, I discovered Viljarda and I got really, really into him and I started doing some like really terrible Viljarda ripoffs. <laughs> Since then, I kind of just strayed away from the style and I haven't ever really gone back to it that much. Here and there, a little bit of it will like leak into what I'm working on. But uh, yeah, it, honestly, it's it's like such a fun thing to do. And when you when you really get a tholly sounding riff to hit, it is so incredibly satisfying. I have a little idea here. I have some clean guitars here that I recorded yesterday, just a little idea that I was messing around with. Three out of four of these regions are reversed and it makes a really cool effect. So here's what these clean guitars sound like. Yeah, really, really thawly. Yeah, I think it sounds really cool. I have a few heavy guitar ideas for like the riff that I wanna try to, to flesh out. So let's do that. By the way, there's some work being done in the room next to me. So if you hear like construction noises, that's, that's what that is. Uh, so really all I have in terms of heavy guitar ideas are just a couple like mid riff licks or fills that I want to do. Something like that. And then another one I have is. Yeah, that's that's really all I've got. I, I don't have a real riff yet. I, I think what I want to do is just loop these four bars just record all of it and see what works improvise a bunch of stuff throw stuff up there and see what sticks we gotta do some bends right some like <laughs> you know we'll see was cool I'm trying to think of how to end it i i like everything up until like the fourth bar maybe some whammy action Boop. let's all right let's set up the whammy pedal All right, the whammy pedal's wired up now. Mixing, mastering, remote production, post-production, composition. If you're in need of any of those services, head on over to architecttigerstudios.com and let's get in touch. All right, back to the riffs. That was cool. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at my DIs before and after the whammy pedal. Oh, weird. Let's listen to the difference, just the DI. Oh, that sounds bad. Oh, wow. Is that what was happening to my DI every time I use the whammy pedal? Bro, I've never noticed that. Maybe, uh, is it a cable problem? I, I did put a new cable in, obviously, because I need two cables to get to my interface now. What if I track with the whammy pedal deactivated? See how that looks. Oh, okay, it is the whammy pedal. Look at that. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, that's crazy. Look at that. So this is what my guitar DI looks and sounds like with the whammy pedal activated. Versus deactivated. Whoa, that, that drastically changes the sound. And let's hear it with my guitar tone. So activated. versus deactivated. It's a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter when it's activated. That's weird, that's crazy. I didn't know all these years of using a whammy pedal. I really had no idea that it did that. You learn something new every day, huh? Well, either way, that's a pretty good take of the riff. Time to do drums. Now, there is a lot of double kick stuff in here, so unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do that. Anyway, let's go do drums. As usual, I'm just gonna loop the part a bunch, play around with some drum ideas and see what we get. Okay, I like that part so far. I have some ideas that I think I'll need to execute over on the computer because I don't have a double kick and I wanna do some fun like matchup stuff with like the, the ride, like the bell of the ride and stuff. I think we'll get what we were doing just now, record that and touch it up over on the, on the computer. Okay, yeah, that was good. Let's touch that up a bit. I also have an idea for starting the riff. When the riff starts, I wanna do a, a rhythm guitar trade off that's like, ba -da -ba -da -da. so like left and right. And then the repetition of the riff can, can do the ba -da -da bump at the beginning. So there's the repetition. So let's, let's do some kick hits real quick. Let me get rid of that for now. Cause that's not gonna be there. Two, three, four. That was a little fast, a little rushed. Actually, maybe just guitar for the first time. And then hits on the floor tom to match. Just turn the quantization down. So it's not exactly hitting at the same time. Hell yeah, that's, that's heavy. That's heavy. Nice. <laughs> that's sick. By the way, uh, the guitar tone I dialed in, which is not specifically for this Thaw Thursday thing, I put Saturn before Archetype Nolly. So I'm, I'm shaping the DI sound before I hit the pedals and the amp and the cab and everything. And it sounds really cool. I'm getting some of that higher end pick attack that I really like. Here, I'll play without the, without Archetype Nolly. So that's what the DI sounds with Saturn and without. Shaping the sound a little bit more. I can play a little bit of this and, and turn it off and on. That's just DI. Here's with Saturn. Now with Archetype Nolly. Here's with Archetype Nolly without Saturn. Just getting a little bit more of that high end pick attack string sound. It's kind of cool. I like it. All right. Let's get the first two bars separately. That was a good one. Okay, we got two good ones there. We got take 13 was good and take 11 was good. And then we just gotta hit that bow.
Those sounded good together. Now we gotta get the whammy pedal thing. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, takes one and three were pretty good, I think. Did, wait, where did take three go? Or the third one, I did three of those. Where did it go? What the hell? Did you see that? It just disappeared. Logic. You're so weird lately. <sighs> Alright, that was good. Guys, we have a Thal Riff. Thal Riff Thursday is a real thing now. Ooh, we should get some scratches in there. Maybe like, ba -da -dum -bum -ba -ba -ba, like a little call and response thing. Yeah, that one was good. Let's trim this right up to the transient. So what I can do is highlight these, go to my event window and quantize by triplet. And now they're perfect. Sick. Let's program base for this. Again, sorry for the noise. Could use this as a sample. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Before he stops, before he stops. Input to mute record. We got it. We got the sample. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's see how it sounds. Maybe we could do something with this actually. Call it next room drill. Let's put that in our back pocket for now. We'll we'll do something with that. Anyway, what were we doing? We're programming base. <laughs> That's massive. So those are the notes. We just gotta add the pitch bend info. Now, I gotta really nail this curve. <laughs> the overtones on that actually sound kind of like a drill. The curve is gonna look like that a little bit. We're gonna listen to the guitars and the bass at the same time and see if it matches. I think it needs to start a little higher, actually. That's pretty close. Oh, maybe that for the for the second time around. That's cool. What if we go down with the octave? That's awesome. Okay, let's see what we can do with this drill. Maybe we can make like a little riser out of it or something. I don't love it as a riser, to be honest. I do like the tremolo effect, but maybe not as like a riser. It sounds too EDM-y for this. Okay, flanger for some depth, maybe? Maybe we could make it mono. Maybe we can distort it and then cut out the lows. Sound toys, decapitator, of course. This resonant thing is kind of annoying. Oh, there's another one that's higher. That's the one I'm hearing. Let's get rid of that one. Maybe it's like a spacey thing in the intro. Slower. We could add a reverb before the tremolo. Make it spacier, but still make sure it cuts out. Maybe a little pan man, so it's like floating around a little bit. Ooh, maybe, maybe something like that. Bro, come on. Yeah, that's cool. First we'll fade it in volume wise, and then starting about here, we'll start to do um, the little filter sweep thing. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. All right, hey, that's a little fun post-production thing. Let's put this bass drop here. 
Let's put the mastering chain on and give it a listen. That is so crazy heavy. I love it. That's awesome. That hits. When that when that bass drop in the beginning hits, it's like watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Thicker Thursday. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Alright. See you guys next time.